In this video, we're going to review basic layout functions with the PMD200. When I say basic, I mean when you're laying out simple offsets from different points at 90 degree or 180 degree angles. This is a very common way to lay out in general. To start, let me show you what the screen looks like after you station. If you recall from previous videos, you'll remember that you have a starting point and a direction point to begin with the PMD200. The PDF that I'm working with looks like this and I'm gonna be laying out this job right here. For my instance, my A3 intersection point and the three line going this direction is my reference line. Today, I intend to show you how to lay out this stretch of points down this wall and then this stretch of points down this wall. And hopefully by the end of the video, you will understand the basic button pushes for basic layout. Because the three line represents my reference line, I wanna make sure that on my screen, on my tablet, that it looks about the same as or as far as orientation goes. So what I'll do is I'll use my fingers to simply spin the drawing around to make sure that this line is going the direction that it looks like on my PDF as well. Now I am ready to begin. As you can assume, you simply need to go and press new point. Once you press new point, what you'll see is that the tool is going to show you where its temporary 00, zero is. What 00, zero means is basically where you're going to be pulling your dimensions from. And after you station, that zero, 00 point is always going to be the first point you measured on your stationing. And for my instance, this zero, 00 point represents my A3 intersection, as you can see here on my PDF. So the first point I want to lay out is this foundation edge point right here that's 2 and 1 half inches inside of my A3 point. And then I want to lay out my center of window point right here, which is 7 feet 8 and a half inches down. As you can see, my blue line is represented here going this way, and my orange line is represented over here. These colors coordinate with these colored boxes over here. So because I'm going down this line, I simply need to type in two inches, one half, and press OK. And you can see immediately, if I zoom in, the tool is indicating where that point will be. Once I know I'm in the right spot, I'll say confirm point, and the laser for the tool is actually going to spin over to that location and help me lay it out. All that's left for me to do is to take my target plate, walk over to the green line, and bring my target plate until I'm dead on that point. The crosshair and this arrow is going to help me know how to navigate to that point. When the arrow is pointing towards the tool, it's telling me I need to move towards the tool with the target plate to get to the point by this dimension. If it's pointing away from the tool, it means that I need to move the target plate back away from the tool to get to the correct location. So I'll speed the video up and do that real quick. Once I've moved my target plate dead on that point, I simply mark it on the ground and I'm ready to move on to my next point. I'll go ahead and press new point and now you can see my zero zero location has been moved to my new point which means that the next dimensions I type in are going to be referenced back to the last point I laid out. Going to my PDF, I know that from that point, I need to keep moving down my three line, seven feet, eight and one half. So I'll look at my blue line, type that in, seven feet, eight and one half inches. It's indicating where that point should be. I'll say confirm point. And to save time, I won't lay that out. But again, I would just follow my laser and prism along this line to lay out that point. Once I have that point laid out, again, I just press new point. I'll come back to my PDF and I'll notice that I need to move from that point 7 feet 11 1 half to get to my next center of window. I'll type in 7 feet 11 inches and 1 half. Press OK. And I'm already moving on to lay out that next point. And I'll simply say confirm point. And to lay out each of these points, you simply need to drag your target plate along the line to lay it out. So to explain what I've done so far, I've laid out this foundation wall line, this center of window line, this center of window line as well. And of course, I can keep going down this stretch just as I've been showing you. But to finish this part of basic layout, let me show you how you would switch to go a different direction on your plan. So for instance, let's say I'm ready to move back and do this stretch of points. So two and a half inches north, then four, and a, four feet, 10 inches up to this first window point, 15 foot, six inches up to the next point. Let me show you how you do that. If you can remember, whenever you press a new point, it's going to base everything off of the most previous point you laid out, which is this point P3 that I laid out theoretically before. You can see the zero, zero there. I need to switch where my zero, zero begins. If you remember on my drawing, A3 represented my starting point, 
And in this case, because I'm going to be going up the A line to lay out these points, I simply need to tell the tool that I want to start at A3 again. Or for what I'm doing, I'm going to start back at R1, which is my original point. All you need to do to make this happen is to click on the point that you want to start from, and in my case, R1, and immediately when you click on it, the tool is going to assume you want to try to lay it out again, which, if you would like to, you certainly can. For what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to make this point my temporary 0, 0, and you can see that when I do so, the 0, 0 point moves back to R1, which means that when I press New Point, these dimensions are going to be based off that original point again. That is a grid line A3. So just like I went down the 3 line, now I can go down the A line, and so I'll begin 2 and 1 half inches north, then 4 feet 10 north, and so on. Only in this case, I'm going down the orange line, 2 inches 1 half. Press OK. Now before moving forward, I noticed that the point's actually going the wrong way down the line. It went south of the point instead of north. If that ever happens, you simply need to tell the tool to switch directions, and it'll go down the other side of the line. It's extremely simple. Once I have that dimension checked in, I'll say confirm point. I'll lay that point out. And now because I'm going down the correct way, and P4 is now going to be my new 0, 0, I'll say new point, and I'm staying on this orange line. Once I know it's going the right way, and the right direction, and the, and the distance, I'll say confirm point. Wait for the tool to spin there. I'll go ahead and lay that out. Once it's laid out, I'll say new point. And now I need to go 15 feet 6 inches north of there. 15 feet 6 inches. Okay. And of course I'll confirm that point and lay it out. That's how simple basic layout is performed with the PMD200. Simply clicking on the point you need to make a dimension from, typing in your deviations, switching directions if needed, and confirming that point and moving your target plate to lay it out. Now to finish the video, let me show you two things that might come in handy. If for whatever reason the units on your drawing are not feet to inches like you see here, you can always change your units by going to settings, change your units to be whatever you need it to be, millimeters, centimeters, etc. In addition, one other housekeeping thing that might help you is if you ever have too many points on here or a point that you perhaps typed in incorrectly, you can always click on a point, press the ellipsis, and just tell the tool to delete that point. And that way you can clean up or fix mistakes in your drawing. I hope this basic video helped you. Please leave any questions you might have in the comments.